Clark, happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So almost ready to get underway. And today's starting pitcher, Garrett Cole. What's the word on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can Baltimore. make life very difficult on his baseman. opponents. And now the Jackson. rookie second baseman, Holiday. Jackson Holiday. Right. And takes low for ball one. The pitch. That yeah. one finds the zone, and it's one and one. Get out of here, and the righty deals. Swings through that one. That's a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times, so I'd say it's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. That one misses. It's two and two. Bounce to the left side. Whips it across. One up, one down. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Ryan oh, O'Hearn comes up to him. fly ball down the left field line Verdugo ranging back and brings it in at the wall two outs base is empty Gunnar Henderson now at the plate left field on his way over and that'll do it. Yes. Orioles nothing. Yankees coming to back. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Yankee Stadium and today's starting pitcher, Corbin Burns. What do we have on him? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, Leading off. look four out, hitters. Yankee. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. We go to the bottom of the first. Now the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. And here it comes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Burns has worked along with mental skills coach Brian Kane since September of 2019. And as well, he reads Harvey Dorfman's The Mental ABCs of Pitching. He reads at least a chapter on days that he starts. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. And there's a ball. The pitch. And ball another three. ball. Hey. And the pitch is in for a strike. Oh, and now it's three and two. Oh. 
In the air, left side. Kowser on the move. Makes the grab, one down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. Now with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support. And they'll see what they can do for him. You have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. One out, base is empty. On the ground to third. On to first. And there are two down. Batting third, the center fielder, Aaron. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average what you really like though stays in against those righties and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter judge checks his swing now it appeal to first and he went around according to Clyde Washington two out spaces empty base hit that was smoke through the infield There's nothing that cheap cool. about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, wow. caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Runner at first with two away. Juan Soto stepping in now for the Yankees. In the dirt, blocked. But no advance. That's ball one. That's down and in. 2 will count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Judge, the runner at first with two gone. Smoked on the ground a second. They out. get the force. That's out number three. One left for the Yankees. Scoreless after one. Back in the Bronx. And now Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander. Santander, 29 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. The wind of the pitch. Aye. The 0-1. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. He sends it out of here. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. And next for the Orioles, Colton Kowser. Well, just missed. Oh, just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here at the top of the second. Foul back our way, and that's out of play.
Left hand hitter waits. Next pitch in for a strike. One and two. Inside just missed. It's a good take. That one misses. And that's ball three. And there's ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Bogey found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Adley Rutschman in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Nobody out, runner at first. Foul ball there. Cole a check to first. Kowser dives back in safely. And he deals. Ground ball right side could be two. There's one. Drops it, but they're saying it was on the transfer. Here's Aloy Jimenez. That clips a corner. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. The pitch. Nope. Ball one. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boog, he's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players question the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. And another ball. Man at first, one away. There's a swing and a miss. Now it's belted deep to left, way out of here, home run. Aloy Jimenez leaves the yard. It's their second home run of the inning, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 3-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. One out, base is empty. Kobe Mayo, the next to hit for the Orioles. That's in there. Strike one. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Swing. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Batting nine. Stepping in, Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins. And a big swing and a miss. Oh, and one. That one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. 
It's now 3 nothing. Major League Baseball is on the show. We head to the bottom of the go. second, the and now it's Giancarlo Stanton. The designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. And the pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. A 3 0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ballgame. 0 1 now. There's a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0 2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. And a pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, and now one away. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping well. slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Next to hit, Austin Wells. Come on, Yankees! And the 1-0. Foul ball. The Orioles leading by three. Bottom half of inning number two. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! And they cut into the lead, it's 3-1. That's a great way to fire up this crowd. They're feeling it now. Cutter inside can be a bat breaker. You have to catch it out front to get the barrel to it. Does a really good job recognizing it early, getting the bat head to it, and hitting it out of the ballpark. Here's Alex Verdugo. Well, and that's that outside. Burns, not a big strikeout guy, but still very effective as far as starting pitchers go. One of those guys that involves the defense and really gets him involved in the action. Left hand batter waits, well, just dude. missed. He moves the ball well. around all the quadrants of the strike zone and will add and subtract velocity. And because of that, he gets the weak contact. It's all about missing the barrel of the bat. Hard hit, left side. Not in he time. Did. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. That is the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Run around at first with one gone, and here is Anthony Rizzo. There's a strike. It seems like this type of guy is kind of a dying breed nowadays. Well, exactly. When teams are looking for high velocity, high strikeout rates, a guy like this doesn't necessarily do that. So in order to really appreciate how good he is, you have to see him. Because if you're just looking at a stat sheet, you might overlook him. Next offering is foul back. Up and in, and the count one and two. One ball, two strikes, the count. Down. Two down. Well, they clearly didn't recognize that curveball out that of the hand good. and the tried to check the swing, just went around go. too far, and you're hoping go. the umpire maybe missed it, and they bail you out. Here is Glaber Torres. In the air, out to center. Mullins makes the catch. 
And that is that. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And this is now a three one ball game. Out of the third inning, and now Jackson Holiday. Jackson Holiday. Cole back to work. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Here comes a pitch. Just oh, off the inside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And oh. another ball. Three. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's one down. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. That one to first. He steps on the bag. Two up, two down. Now batting the shortstop, Gunner Henderson. Two outs, bases empty. Gunner Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. Flied out his first time. Pitch Four. misses there, and it's 1-0. The shortstop takes no a ball. The wind of the pitch. A little out front there as he swings through it. Two ball, one strike. Righty to the plate. And it's fouled away. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Man at first, Anthony Santander at the plate. Close one, doesn't get the call. One and oh. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Ah. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Hey. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and fires. Nope, outside. Runner on the goal. Swings through it for the K. He swung over top of the curveball. So one hit is all they get. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Orioles three and the Yankees one. Back now in the Bronx, Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. The third baseman. Oh, Boog, a lot has changed yeah. for this kid from the Bahamas. Jazz was signed by the Diamondbacks as a free agent for $200,000. Four years later, he's traded to Miami and played for the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp before getting his call to the big oh, leagues. Cool. He's a player on the rise. And the pitch. Wouldn't Ball, chase that time. Play.
right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Got him looking. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Now batting. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Grounded out his first time up. And he drops it down the third baseline. And he can't come up with it. Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. It doesn't surprise anyone when he gets on base by dropping down a bond. I mean, this is just the latest example of him using his speed to his advantage and showing off his skills with the bat. That was very nice. It's Aaron Judge now, and he's already singled in this game. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. At the belt and fires. And another ball. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. That ball one three. misses. And that's ball three. Three nope. Volpe, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. That just oh, missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk. Now and right guy at the play was not going to help him oh. out by swinging at something out of the zone. Here's Juan Soto. He's 0 for 1. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Just off the inside edge. The Yankees trailing by two here in the last half of the third. That one missing low. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. That misses. Three and two now. Giancarlo Stanton hitting on deck circle. <laughs> Foul ball and it remains a full count. Ground ball right side, ball, and that's just foul. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Got him. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Now So first and second with two outs. Now it's the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Swing and a miss, strike one. Wow, oh, good luck count. catching up to that one. First and second, two down. Swings hey. through that one for strike two. Well, this is a oh, higher God. leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. Next oh, one just that. misses. And that's ball one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Right side, hard hit. The flip to the He's pitcher up. covering. What a play, inning over. Two left on. On to inning number four. It's the Orioles three and the Yankees one. Back 
here in New York. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Colton Kowser. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Orioles doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Let's go, yeah, and the righty deals. That one's upstairs, ball one. Now one and two. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Gets under and pops it up. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. The catcher, number 35, Adley. Here's Rutschman. Adley Rutschman singing. The Orioles gave him the largest signing bonus ever. More than $8 million, and you can see why. This guy just oozes with talent. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Eloy Jimenez now. He's already homered in this game. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. That missed by a lot. Two and oh. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Yeah. And he walked it. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but oh, so much for that. Good. Pretty good pitch, but just doesn't get the call on 3-0. Here's the third Mayo. baseman, Kobe Mayo. Struck out swinging his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Two outs. And Two another out. ball. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Two and oh to count. Here it comes. Swing and a foul straight back. The pitch. Missed. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And here it comes. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. One left for the Orioles as the lead remains 3-1. Ready to go, Leading bottom off. four. And now the catcher comes up the to him, Austin Wells. Austin. Well. The pitch. 
And well, that's downstairs and outside. You know, these Yankees showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Next offering is downstairs. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Right through there for a strike. Three balls, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. The punch out there, and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Now, Alex Verdugo reached on an infield single his first time. Verdugo. On the inside corner for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And a good eye there. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. This ball's chopped on the ground. Henderson gets it to first, and that quickly two away. Now batting, first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. Just missed. <laughs> A little oh, bit low. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. That one finds the zone. Two balls and a strike. The Orioles up by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So the Yanks go in order. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. And we're back. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now here is Cedric Mullins. The right-hander back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. And that turns the lineup over. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two when I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. And here is Jackson Holiday. Swings through that one for strike one. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Rudder at first with no outs here. Ground ball left side. Over to Torres. That's an out. On to first in time. Double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. And now the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Late on that fastball. 
O'Hearn goes six feet, three inches, 220 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. And that one is inside. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two down, nobody on. And downstairs. And that's off the inside edge. And it's three and two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Orioles three and the Yankees one. Bottom of the inning. Here's Glaber Torres. The second baseman. Glaber Torres. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. You know, these Yankees need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. The one two. Wouldn't oh, chase down. that time. <laughs> Next pitch that. just misses. Full count now. <laughs> Chopped out in front of the plate. On to O'Hearn. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now batting, third baseman, Jazz Chisholm. Back to the top of the Yankee Jr. order. Now the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. That's in there. 0-1. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Left-hand hitter waits. Almost got him. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Right hander kicks deals. Ball two. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Man at first with one gone. And the batter will be the shortstop. Anthony Volpe. Count one and Pitch out. But no action. 
This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, Boo. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Chisholm at first, one gone. And there's a foul ball. One and two now. Rudder takes off. Pitch outside. Throw. Save. That's a stolen base. When you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite level arm behind the plate like this guy, you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job. That was a great jump right there. Really nice steal on second base. Runner at second here, one gone. Three. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Here is Aaron Judge. There's a strike. 0 oh and 1. Two outs and one in scoring position. Judge comes up empty there. Boog, it looked like that curveball backed up on him. And although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. On the ground. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Up next to the Yankees, the right fielder, Juan Soto. So two on with two away. And now it's Juan Soto. Runners on first and third, two away. The old one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Smash to the left side. They take the force out. Play made, that ends the inning. So they strand a pair. Five innings complete. It's the Orioles three and the Yankees one. Top of the sixth inning and into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. And a pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Put a really nice oh, balance swing on it. And when you can rope one in at the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Darren Boone makes his way out of the dugout, and he will make a move to the bullpen. Garrett Cole is done in this one. Daddy's responsible for the runner on second, so the book isn't closed on him yet. We'll be right back.
new pitcher on here, Jonathan Loisica. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And now the right fielder, Anthony Santander. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. That misses the zone. Ball one. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Ron Marinaccio getting ready to go. Hard hit, right side. Rizzo He's takes out. it to the bag. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Up next for the Orioles. Colton Kowser, the next to hit for the Orioles. You have to stay disciplined in these at-bats. Try not to chase. A strikeout here is the last thing you want. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. The one. And there's the ball. Runner on at third, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. This to third, Chisholm. To first, oh. now two away as they get a run across. The catcher, number 35, Adley Rutschman. Here's Adley Rutschman. And that's in there at the knees. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Base knock center field. Look, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Next is the designated hitter, Aloy Jimenez. Out of corner for a strike. It's 0-1. And that's strike two. Ball oh. one there. That one is hammered right field. Soto moving back for it. Back gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game, it's 6-1. Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so close, but that one was just out of his reach. So next to hit for Baltimore, Kobe Mayo. 
It was 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. And he deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Two outs. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. Back at Yankee Stadium, here's a big power threat. Giancarlo Stanton. And a pitch. They've got a nope, potent outside. lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Sir Anthony Dominguez getting loose out there. Cano also getting ready. The pitch. And now two and nothing. Two balls, no strike. And a foul ball. Riding to the plate. And That's another ball. Three. three balls, one strike. Come on, Yankees! Yeah. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Three and two. Up the middle, Henderson. Slings the first, one away, bottom of the sixth. Now batting, catcher, Austin. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. He's already homered here in this one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Almost 100 pitches through five and a third innings. I'm thinking he's probably done in the next couple of batters. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. Left-hand batter waits. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Ah. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Verdugo stands in now and watches strike one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Yes, 
That That's misses. It's a ball and two strikes. One ball, two, oh, two strikes. Curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. Tim Hill taking over on the mound. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score now right where it is. Seems like a tough Number task today with the way this lineup Hill. is swinging it. Hill. Cedric Need Mullen digs in now. One for two. Cedric Mullen. And the pitch. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. And a pitch. Bounce to the right side. Throw on to Rizzo. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the, the seven. Number seven. Second base, Jackson Holiday. So up next, Jackson Holiday. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Soto moving back for it. And gone! And they tack one on the board. It's 7-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Now a chance for Ryan O'Hearn. Line drive. Judge puts it away for the out. Out number two. The batter, number two. Shortstop. Gunner. Two outs, base is empty. Henderson. Here's the shortstop at the play. Gunner Henderson. He swings and fouls one off. across to the frame so far here in the top half of inning number seven that misses the zone and the count is one, one and two two straight next offering is outside the two two into center judge has it sized up and makes the grab. And that is that. Solo Homer brings in one for Baltimore. It's now 7-1. You're dialed into the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Keegan Aiken. And he's got a nice lead to work with. So he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And here's the first baseman, the Anthony Yankees. Rizzo. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Ripped to short. Henderson over to first in time. One up, one down. Now batting second baseman, Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres up to the plate. That's 
a laser base hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Waste no time there. Oh, nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now it's going to be out towards left center. Kowser flashes the leather on the run and catch. The batter number 11, shortstop Anthony. Man at first, and up next for New York, Anthony Volpe, one for three. He was late there, strike one. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. That's inside. Two outs. Right through there for a strike. Three. Got him looking. And that'll do it. The Yanks leave one. They're down seven to one. New inning getting started. Here's the Oriole cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. Santander. And here it comes. Ball one low. Hill, a tall lefty. He features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a slider, and occasionally uses a cutter. The 1-0. -oh. Wouldn't nope. chase that time. Sliced hard, but foul. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. That Help. one missed. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Here's the left fielder, Colton Kowser. First offering, and it just misses. Santander gets his lead at first with nobody out. And misses inside. inside. Towards first. Into the outfield. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit. But sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. There's a strike. 0 oh 1. The Orioles up big in this one, and we're in the top of the eighth. That one out to right. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. One down. Now that the designated hitter, Aloy Jimenez. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Aloy Jimenez. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three.
And ball one. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. One out. Runners at first and second. So now one and two. And they'll do it again. Two on, one out. Popped up. Soto grabs it on the run. The throw in. Now back. The third baseman. Kobe. So first and Mayo. second with two outs. Here's the third baseman, Kobe Mayo. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Yeah, that's ball one. And that one wrapped foul. Two on, two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Kicks and fires. That one missing inside. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. That one ripped right center field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and it's an eight-run lead. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. New pitcher for the Yankees, Ron Marinaccio. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. So, man aboard. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Swing and a ball popped up. Torres sizes this one up, and that is that. They put two on the board with a couple of hits, no errors, and one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Orioles 9 and the Yankees 1. Back in New York. Leading ready to go for the last Yankees. half of the inning. Here comes Aaron, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. Here comes a pitch. In oh, the dirt. And it's 1-0. Oh. That's 1-0. It's in and out of his glove. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Now back. The right field. Juan Soto. Watch Soto now. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Nope. Just Ball missed. One. Ball one, no strike. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. A big swing and a miss. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. On the ground, right side. Oh, great stop. To his knee, the throw, and very nicely done for the out. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. 
Two outs, base is empty. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swings through that one out in front that time. The Yanks with a lot of ground to make up. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Cold strike right there. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. O'Hearn makes the catch, inning over. Down in order, go the Yankees. They trail it big. It's 9-1. We go to the ninth. Here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Jackson Holiday. Jackson Holiday. And a pitch. That one laced to center and a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Around first, heading for two. Now around second, going for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. All over that one right there. Came yeah, screaming off the, the bat, I'm game. sure. Exit Ryan. velocity's off the charts. No oh, doubt man. he squared that baseball up perfectly. So there was no fluke to that triple by any means. So, man aboard. Ryan O'Hearn, the next to hit for the Orioles. Check Eight. swing, did he go? Yes, he did. Oh, Holiday, the lone runner, stands at third with no outs. Wouldn't chase that time. One is fouled off. And the right hander deals. That's in. Ball two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Pitch. We got full count. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Three and two, payoff pitch. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. And next for the Orioles, Gunnar Henderson. Just missed. One away with a runner at third. And that one is inside. Now a screamer into the outfield. Drops into the glove. Runner tags for home. 
It's a sack fly as he comes across to score, and they now lead by nine. It was all over that fastball right there. I'll tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Hammer down the line. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. He's there. It's a two-out double. He was all over that one. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Colton Kowser, the next to hit for the Orioles. That one fouled off. Runner at second, two down. Here at the top of the ninth. Misses inside. And now it's even one and one. And that clips the inside corner. One ball, two strikes. Right-handed reliever. Hit hard on the ground to short. Zips it across, oh. and the inning is over. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It's the Orioles 10, and the Yankees 1. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, and here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Aiken back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Play gathers and throws one out, bottom of the ninth. Great cat like reflexes right there, lays out, knocks the ball down, and then fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy in the mouth. He's two outs away. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. There's a strike. All ones the count. And a foul ball. On the ground, right side, O'Hearn. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batting, first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. So they're down to their final out. And next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Hit to right, and that should do it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Orioles take this one in a blowout. Well, I'm not sure if he expected to get nine outs in this one, but he had the gas in the tank to get it done. Kind of a throwback save for this guy today, but helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it, and they're celebrating his performance in this one. 10-1, the final score. As the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.
final line score tonight. First for the victorious Orioles, 10 runs, 12 hits. No errors, they left four runners on base. For the Yankees, one run, seven hits, no errors, they left seven runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 28 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.